what's good youtube today i'm bringing you guys probably one of the best big man builds in the game and a build that's never been seen before i don't think anybody has a big man build like this on nba 2k22 this build right here gets contact dunks can shoot gets sharp shooting takeover and is a 610 player that gets all the jump shots in the game this player also gets playmaking takeover and can speed boost and dribble and you also get a 99 rebound which means you get a hall of fame rebound chaser on this player and to add on to this player being 6'10", this player also gets an 80 perimeter defense. So you're literally going to be 6'10", with maxed wingspan being able to guard ball so with this build you can literally do everything in the game you can contact dunk you can shoot you can dribble and speed boost you can play defense and get rebounds at a high level and the last thing i want to say about this build here before i show you guys how to make it is that this is probably the best Giannis antetokounmpo build on youtube that you're gonna find like usually when people make a Giannis build it's usually either lacking dribbling or a little bit of defense or a little bit of shooting this build right here literally plays exactly like Giannis does everything like Giannis the only difference is this build can shoot better than the Giannis that's on the quick game but yeah other than that let's get right into the video now before I show you guys how to make this build I'm gonna show you guys how to change the units of measurement from the imperial system to the metric system you guys need to do this in order to make the same exact build as me so first what you want to do is you want to go to the main menu and you want to go down to features go to settings and then you want to scroll all the way down to units of measurement which should be right here and you want to change it from the imperial system to the metric system now once you guys do that you want to go back into the builder i'll just put any number now Basically, what you guys want to do is once you get here, you could go on the internet and search up all meters to feet conversions. I actually put it up on the screen for you right now so you guys can know what I'm talking about. And basically, you could use this to understand the differences with the height. I'll leave a link in the description to this website so you guys will be able to do this on your own. So for this build right here, what you want to do is you want to go with 2.07 for the height. You want to go... 106 kilograms to the weight and for the wingspan you want to go 2.34 now for the height if we put in 2.07 that translates to six nine and a half basically but when you go into the actual game and you switch your units of measurements back it's going to show up as 610 and you're going to be closer to the height of a 610 so basically the finesse of this is that Instead of making a 6'9 player the regular way, you're actually making a 6'9 and a half player. So you're taller than every other regular 6'9. So you're almost like a 6'10. And if we put the wingspan into this conversion thing or whatever, when I put 2.34, that translates to 7 foot 8. And this is what's going to pop up when you change your units of measurement back. So when you change it back to the imperial system, the regular way is going to say 6'10 for your height and 7'8 for the wingspan. I also forgot to say, make sure you make your player a center because if you do this at power forward, the max wingspan is going to be 2.31 instead of 2.34. And of course, as a big man, you guys want to have the biggest wingspan. For the body shape, I went with the find with my player. Now to start this build off, we're gonna go into the finishing. For my close shot, I put it up to an 86. Drive and layup, you wanna put that up to an 86 as well. And the drive and dunk, you wanna put that up to an 86. And after that, you're done with the finishing. Now you might be wondering, why did I not put my standing dunk up? For some reason in this game, even if you have a 25 standing dunk, you still get standing dunks if you're tall enough. I'll even put clips in the intro or even right now to show i have a 25 standing dunk and i still get standing dunks but one thing i did forget to mention even though in the game it will say you're 610 you are you will not be able to get standing contact dunks at the height that i put it as in the metric system but you'll be able to get all the jump shot bases in the game because 6'9 is the cutoff so technically you're finessing the game because you're 6'9 and a half so you're taller than 6'9 but you still get the same jump shots i also put an extra finishing badge on my player from hitting level 31 in season one so i will have 21 finishing badges i have 21 finishing badges on my build you may or may not depending on if you hit level 39 last season now into the shooting you want to max out your three-point shot 
and you want to put your free throw to a 78. Ignore what I just said, the free throw is a 77. I don't realize this till later in the build video. So do not put a 78, the free throw is actually a 77. And also with this too, I use my extra badge point from season two to put into shooting. And that's why you'll probably see that my player has 14 shooting badges instead of 13. Now for playmaking, what you want to do is you want to max out speed with ball ball handle and for pass accuracy you want to put it to an 88 now you guys might be wondering why don't i just put it to 85 since this is the the level in order to get gold bullet passer now the reason why i put it at an 88 is because if you look right here at 86 you you're able to get gold bailout and then at 88 you're able to only use four badge points instead of five badge points to get gold bailout so even if you only want to use silver i would still recommend putting that at 88 because as you can see you only need to use two badge points instead of three now on to the defense what you want to do is you want to put your interior defense all the way up to an 80 and make sure the strength is at a 55 you want an 80 interior defense with a 55 strength perimeter defense max it out for steel max it out you're probably like how you're a center why do you need the perimeter defense maxed out the reason why i max out my perimeter defense is because i when i have to full switch from my guard at an 80 perimeter defense i'll still be able to keep up and be able to move quickly when i'm holding l2 and laterally so this is why i go with an 80 perimeter defense and also it can help a little bit with the mismatch expert because a lot of the centers switch onto the guard and then they just shoot up some bs and is able to make that and that's because sometimes the perimeter defense is too low to guard them now for the block you want to put it up to a 91 you could try and put it at an 89 but like before i was saying with the bailout at 91 even at just 90 you use less badge points in order to get that badge so at 90 you only need two badge points for silver um rim protected instead of at 89 you need three so i put mine at a 91 and i get most of the block animations or basically all of them now for defensive rebound you want to max it all the way out to 99 so that you get hall of fame rebound chaser and for offensive rebound you want to put it up to an 89 now for the people that are hesitant about the 89 offensive rebound you guys have to understand most people that have an offensive rebound around this um number most of them don't have hall of fame rebound chaser but with this build you get hall of fame rebound chaser so even though the offensive rebound isn't maxed out you're still going to be able to jump higher and get better rebound animations since you have the hall of fame badge and another thing i forgot to mention with the interior defense at an 80 you're still able to get brick wall silver brick wall is good for me because i know how to set screens and at silver i'm still able to clip people i might even put clips up of me clipping people with my silver brick wall i also took the plus four from college and put them all into defense so instead of 35 badge points i get 39 so i basically have the same amount of defensive badge points as an inside big man almost all of them in the game the most you'll probably see from somebody is like 42 and this build gets 39 and as the seasons go on i'm gonna get more and more badge points from hitting level 39 now for the rest of this you just want to max out speed acceleration vertical and you want to put your stamina to a 95 and with the weekly workout or gym rat you'll get plus four so your stamina will be a 99 your vertical will be a 89 and as you guys will be able to see in the intro or in the clips i put you you get a lot of snag animations with this player now one of the best things about this player is that you get four different takeovers you get sharp playmaking takeover rim takeover and rebound takeover and the thing about playmaking takeover i still need to test this out but i believe when you have takeover with this build i think you either get like a plus 10 or plus 15 to your playmaking so your ball handle will actually go up from a 75 to either like a 85 or a 90 when you have takeover um earlier today when i was using the playmaking takeovers I was playing my career and it jumped up to my ball handle jumped up to a 90 i have paused and checked and it jumped up to a 90 so you guys could test that out and see if your attributes will go up with the takeover i'm not too sure like how much it'll go up with the takeover but if for sure when you have takeover with 
playmaking, it will definitely go up to an 85. And another thing I wanted to say, this build is great for anybody that like dribbles like Steezo or something like that and know how to dribble with a 75 ball handle. I would suggest making this build because you're 6'10 and you're able to dribble as you can see in the intro and the clips that I showed y'all. After you make the build, you'll be called the versatile paint beast. And yeah, this is the build right here. Versatile paint beast. This is a great build for 3v3 and 5v5 and 2v2 as well you guys can use it in the 1v1 court but i would suggest using it in the 1v1 court in the stage the thing about this is like you could use it in the matchmaking one but that one isn't make it take it so guards that are able to get threes up a lot will win more compared to this build that's kind of slower and is more of a big man build but other than that make sure y'all like comment subscribe and let me know down below if you guys are going to make this build or what you guys think of it and i'll holla at y'all in the next video